three, two, one. Welcome back, folks. It's your boy Omar GT, and I figured I'd do something different. I might not just do a uh, Nintendo Direct reaction. Obviously, it's not live; it's recorded. But I'm gonna do the brief one very quickly on uh, some of the highlights that I think are worth playing games and such. You might have to skip uh, most of the uh, direct. I'm actually just gonna skip through it. So things I should not even interested or even have remote information on. But uh, let's just go ahead and watch right here, and I'll tell you do a bit what I think about each game that uh, I recommend for you to play or not to play at all. All right. First off, of course, you can see the new uh, Sonic game. I've been a Sonic fan since uh, back in Genesis days when it first came out. I never owned Genesis, but I played the friends, and of course, I played the uh, re-releases on PlayStation consoles. But this one actually seems to be pretty darn good. I mean, it, it looks pretty darn awesome. And I highly recommend that at all if you're a 2D player that likes something different other than normal Mario, other slower platformers. Uh, this one actually looks a lot of fun. It's also four-player. Local co op. Uh, so, if you want to try that, go ahead and feel free to do so. I highly recommend it at all for all of you to watch it. Uh, let's we'll see. Let's see. Let's go to. Ah, here we go. Persona 5 Tactica. Uh, this is actually a strategy RPG. If you've played any Shin Megami Tensei games, uh, especially for the Persona series, the spin off. Uh, I recommend this one. It's uh, not your typical turn-based. It's actually a strategy grid-based RPG. So if you like those, go ahead and try this. Uh, I assume this is coming out for other consoles as well. I don't have any exact information on that. As well as Sonic as well. It should be coming out to other consoles. But Persona 5 Tactica, I highly recommend that one as well. Next, we'll look at... Let's see... Super Mario RPG. I recently did a review on this several months ago. I think about probably about a year ago on the uh, Wii version, the Wii Virtual Console version. It's a very basic RPG. If you've never played RPGs and want to get into them and you love Mario or you even have a Switch itself, particularly, I do recommend this game. It's very basic, simple to, to get into. Uh, not many characters to switch out. There was five total you can switch out to. Yeah, five total play Mario, <clears throat> and it looks gorgeous. The remake looks suddenly gorgeous. I mean, yeah, I love the remake the way it looks. I myself will not pick this up because if you look at the review, it's it's not for the real veteran RPG players. It's got a lot of quirks and nitpicks about it that I don't like at all. Uh, as far as far as limited item capacity, uh, shared magic pool. Um, some parts of the main story which are not skippable that are very puzzly and <laughs> you'll probably need a guide to get through them and that just really annoyed me at all. Uh, go check out my review if you want to know more about that. I'm not going to go into full detail about it. If you are interested in an RPG or getting into RPGs and you have a Switch, I do recommend some more RPG in this version to play it because uh, like again it looks phenomenal. It looks beautiful the way they redesigned it. Uh, next we're going to go over, let's see here. Luigi's Mansion uh, remake uh, again another remake I believe because <laughs> it's actually more of a port I believe from the 3DS version it does look good as well uh, I never played any Luigi's Mansion but I always wanted to get into them but since uh, now it's on Switch this version I would definitely want to try to pick this one up because I love Luigi love the Mario series this is a must have I believe uh, next we'll take a look at let's see here There we go. If you played uh, Overcooked or also Move Out on the PlayStation or Xbox or even Switch, I recommend Manic uh, Me Mechanics. It looks similar to the concept, as far as I can tell. It looks to be a local uh, multiplayer co op, couch co op. So if you're into the type of party games that are very easy to get into but also have a lot of strategy and, and techniques towards it, you can play with your friends and family members. I do recommend this one. Especially, look, it looks very different as far as the way you move and play in the arenas for uh, multiplayer compared to Overcooked and uh, Move Out. Uh, Mario Rabbids, you guys probably already know about that, so I'm not even going to go into detail about that <laughs> as well. Let's 
think I only got one more left. Oh, two actually. This one actually threw me out of loop. I didn't even know this was coming. I mean, I knew uh, re release to come out of ports, but not like this kind of compilation. This is the Metal Gear Solid series. I played every single Metal Gear except for Revengeance. That's the only one I haven't played. I wasn't too much of far of the spinoffs, but I played Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear 2 on the NES, uh, Snake's Revenge. I played the uh, all the Metal Gear Solids series, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as well. Did play Peace Walker, but that's because I wasn't much to the PSP even, even though I had one. <clears throat> but uh, this collection I do recommend if you've never played any Metal Gear Solids or want to replay them. I gotta say, this collection looks like it's the best deal out there. I mean, you get Metal Gear Solid 1, which is very hard to get a hold of these days uh, anywhere at all. Unless you get the Twin Stakes version for GameCube, but even then, that's still hard to get a hold of. Um, the only way to get a hold of Metal Gear Solid 1 is through the PS3 store, um, or even a Vita store. But even then, it's still hard to get because it's only playable on the PS3. You know, it's a PS1 game. You can't play it on your, on your Vita or Vita TV. Uh, with this collection, I do recommend a lot, especially since it has all the enhanced features. As far as um, it has, she has uh, maps included. It has the ability to actually gives you more lore about the stories itself. Uh, it looks very, very good collection. I don't know why it's why it's volume one. I don't understand what volume two would be unless it contains Metal Gear Solid Four and Peace Walker. Maybe some of the PSP, other PSP spinoffs. Uh, but I, I wouldn't. No, but I'm too a consistent. Won't be with that many games at all. Vampire Survivors. I haven't played it yet, but I want to. It is a twin stick shooter. I do recommend this game a lot. I've read a lot about it and heard a lot about it. And I'm not gonna say much about it. You can, you can see many reviews that are already out there for this game. So it looks great uh, as far as twin stick shooter and a, a time waster. If you're out and about waiting in a waiting room at a doctor's office or mechanic shop, you spend 20, 30 minutes and get into this game real quick. And last but not least, I'm um, going to go over this last two that I'm highly interested in. This is uh, Star Ocean. I actually own uh, Over and Alone. I actually leased out the, all the Star Ocean series on the PSN, Star Ocean 1, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, 2 is nowhere to be found digitally, uh, as far as I can tell, uh, unless you own the PSP version physically um, or the physical PS1 version, which is extremely expensive to buy on any retail store, I'm sorry, any online shopping shopping store. And I would not recommend getting that one because it's just highly expensive and if you scratch it, you're kind of screwed. And that's why I hate buying physical disc anymore at all. But this is great. I well, kind of heard rumor about this, but I didn't even know it was really going to be out on Switch. I heard it was on PlayStation and Xbox, but I'm glad it's going possibly on all three consoles. And this version looks beautiful. I mean, they've redone some of the background works, so the 2D sprites onto 3D backgrounds, it's beautiful. And I re recommend this game a whole lot. I've never played any Star Ocean, but I own them because they're in my backlog. But uh, from what I can tell, it's, it's a great version of the and Tales of Zillia, the Tales of series that are already out on multiple consoles. And last but not least, I'm going to go over one last game, which I really was not aware of and surprised me a lot. And that's actually the Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. 2D side scroller. Uh, was Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Uh, this one hit me way out of the blue, and I love the new art style. I mean, I kind of iffy on the uh, Super Mario Bros. Wii version, but I, I adapted to it, and I loved it as well. And it's very accessible to use. This one looks to be way more fun to play and to use. On your Nintendo Switch or on the TV, it's it's great to have. So that way, you can get on the go or get get it at home to play. And with um, multiplayer as well, you can play with others as well. So this is a game I definitely recommend picking up uh, whenever you can. Because you know, prices will never go down for a Mario game or a Zelda game. So what's the point? If you want it, just go ahead and buy it. But I do recommend this one. Other than that, folks, uh, thanks for watching. It's my first reaction ever to uh, any type of. Uh, direct or game show whatever but thanks for watching and I'll see you again peace